You know, we still have time. To escape, I mean. And risk him being even more distraught. We can just call him up and say, Hey, sorry, I can't show up today. I've got... Uh, I don't know. Better things to do. Sounds like a plan to me. Sounds more like a bad idea. Bad idea, my ass. He's probably just overreacting anyways. To the point of tears, I'm sure. Besides, we're already here. So what? He shouldn't be this upset over some dumb guy. The bastard wasn't even that hot. Hot enough for Liam to be devastated though, Sheridan. Uh, there's only so much we can do for him anyways. Can we even help the little nerd? Maybe not. Liam needs to take care of himself first. But remember how you felt when you had that bad breakup, Cher? I know I remember mine, and being alone was the last thing I wanted to be, that's for sure. So, as his friends, shouldn't we at least be there to make sure he's okay? I mean... Yeah. I guess you're right. You guys will cheer him up. But what if I make Liam cry or something? Kid's so fragile. He almost had a mental breakdown when I told him his shirt was on backwards. Oh, I'm sure you won't make him cry. I bet 50 bucks that you won't, so good luck. <laughs> you made a bet on me, you little... <sighs> okay, fine. But if anything happens, then I swear to God that Did I'll... Did someone call for a god? I thought I heard someone complaining out here. Ah, and guess what? It's the Ice Queen! You came all this way to bless me with that scowl of yours. Thanks, princess. Fuck off, Trent. I'm here for Liam, not you. You sure about that? I mean, seeing you at work and now at my place, what will they say about us? I work with you, you moron. And where the hell is your shirt? Nice to see you too. You gonna let us in, or what? Right this way, mon chéri. <laughs> <sighs> well, what do you know? You guys cleaned up in here for once. I can actually see the floor. Of course piece of garbage like Trent would live in a trash heap. Hey, I told you it was pretty bad on the phone. Liam totally went all housewife on the place, so now it's spotless. Not that I'm complaining, though. Have me a cute boy cook, clean, and spoil me silly? Oh my, that is a dream. Being sad enough to pick up after your lazy ass sounds more like a nightmare, if you ask me. Hey, Liam, stop cleaning and come say hi to us already. Ah, just a sec. I'm almost done making snacks and getting drinks. Is wine okay? Absolutely, my darling. Marry me, please. See? Cutest housewife. Ugh, you guys are mongrels. Sorry if the house is still messy, by the way. Kieran had more furniture than I realized. He even took the cat. But I worked hard to get it together for you all. I hope it's okay. <coughs> eh? Are you guys okay? Should I call for help? <laughs> Too cute. So adorable, dumb. boy. Liam, take a break. We're here to take care of you, not the other way around. Are you sure, Kellis? Your nose is bleeding. Don't worry about us. Take a chance to sit down and relax. We'll be sure to get everything settled for you. Right, Trent. What part of a cute housewife did you not get, Kells? The I'm too good to spoil my housewife part. Come on. Ah, fine. Only because I'm a good husband, though. Ugh, what a tool. But you know, they are rightly. You have to take care of yourself before you can take care of others. I know, but you guys coming here is nice enough for me. I'm just glad that I don't have to spend today alone. Especially when... <laughs> when we were supposed to have our anniversary together! Stupid, stupid jerk! Cheating on me and then dumping me all of a sudden! Why did he have to dump me before today? I was going to cook for him and then spoil it with all sorts of romantic things like- Whoa, we're getting into some like mature that. content warnings here. <laughs> Liam, look. It's okay to be sad. I get it. Sometimes you just have to cry it out. But what's not okay is being sad when you have friends. Us. Trying to make you feel better. Kellis took the night off. Trent rescheduled his practice session. I mean, you even have me here. And I'm not much of a comforter. That means something. Right? I know. 
Uh, I'm sorry. It's just... I wasn't expecting it at all. And I feel like he took everything from me, too. It's just frustrating because... I didn't even get the chance to cope before he just... moved on. Have you ever had someone break up with you in such an abrupt and... weird way? Hmm... What do you mean the game is on? Either you hand me that remote, or I hand you your things. I don't care if your leg is broken. When I make a date time, you're there. Let's get this bread, huh? Well, I hate bread. It's stupid, and so are you! God damn it, you stupid son of a- We're not going to make this about me, you little shit. Uh, oh, okay. The point is, you've got cool people here with you to cheer you up. You don't need a bastard like he who we won't name around. Not when you've got video games and friends as gorgeous as me, showering you with attention. <laughs> Alright, you got me there. Already I'm feeling loads better. Thanks for being so nice to me, Sheridan. I appreciate it. Uh, sure. Don't mention it. Goddamn cinnamon roll. See, Sheridan isn't that icy. Pay up. Damn it! Uh, you win this time, Jorgensen. All right then. Looks like we've got everything. So, tell us what we're playing today. Right! Okay, so I got us this RPG called Faraway Ventures. Neat, right? It's an action game where you pick the adventure you want to play as, each with their own backstory and objectives, and you go through the story campaign with your party! Uh, the goal of your party is to stop the evil wizard, Dalen, and his army of demon vampires! That's oddly specific. Not just demons, not just vampires, demon vampires. <gasps> not all demons are bad, Kellis. That's insensitive to them! That, and they're like, the coolest ever! My apologies, I guess. You know, now I'm starting to see why he dated Kieran. For real, though! They're so cool in this game, because you can even play as one! See? He's a super cool demon rogue named Idris. He's a wanderer who decided to dedicate his life to the person he loves over his own demon clan. Uh, but Dalen captured his love, so now he's on an epic quest to find them and save them from his evil clutches! The darkness shall fall, and so shall you to my blade. Ooh, so awesome! Sure sounds like a lot of background and meat for one game. Uh, where the hell did you find this game anyway? I found it at the game drop down the street, actually. Alarak suggested it to me. Wait, the creepy goth guy with the eternally pissed off aura. The hell do you want? Yup, he's really nice. Okay, you and me have two completely different ideas of what nice is. Every time Kills and I go in, he looks like he's ready to slit our throats with a disc or something. Well, once you get past the cold, stoic exterior, he's actually really sweet. He gave me chocolates last Valentine's Day, actually. But Kieran made me throw them away. Uh, here. For you. Uh, but not because I like you or anything. <gasps> really? Thank you! I love chocolate! Huh? And this isn't just any chocolate, this is go cute. Brand. How in the... Okay, you know what? I don't need to know. I... You and your edgy boys... Okay, well, let's see what we've got here. I get dips for next character, by the way, so that makes me player two. What? Not aiming for number one like usual? I don't know a damn thing about this game, so I'll let Liam top for now. <laughs> uh, gross. Hmm. Okay, a giant sword guy. Nope. There's the demon edgelord, and, uh, hmm. Jay Valen, a scholar of Revena. Yeah, I'm picking this guy. Need my expertise? I suppose I can oblige. Please tell me you didn't pick him for a certain reason. No, 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 yeah, okay, yes, I mean yes. I picked him because he's hot. So what, Kells? Did you even read his backstory? On a journey to break the curse of propagation on himself? Uh, the hell does that even mean? Basically, Jay Valen's a scholar who was cursed by Dalen for some reason. And so, the curse basically will take away all of Jay's powers completely if he doesn't find a way to stop it. Ah, <sighs> sucks. 
But since Trent picked that guy, that means we have an unbalanced party, so now I have to play a warrior class. And your point? I always play a mage, Trent. Well, there's another character in here that I think you might like. No. No. Ah! Uh, this one! Hey. Merman? You can play as a merman in this game? Alcor of Aquarius, a merman berserker and betrayed prince. He seeks to reclaim his throne after being banished from his kingdom by his tyrant sister. But first, he must break the curse of the Landwalker that keeps him from ever returning to the sea. Okay, I don't even care that he's not a mage. I'm playing him. My calm hides a storm, so best hope you are not in its wake. Talk about a fish out of water. <laughs> we'll see if he's a fun character to play as. If he isn't. What are you going to do? Oh my god, stop, just stop! Uh, pick your damn character, Ice Queen! Fine, fine, whatever. Uh, how do I use this thing? Come on, Cha, I know you've played a video game before in your life. Yeah, like Dandy Rush and that one dress-up game on my phone. I'm too broke for video games and shit. <laughs> no worries. Just use the joystick to move around and see who there is. Then hit X when you picked your character. There's about eight different characters to start with, but we can unlock more probably the more we play the game. Gotcha. Which one's the easiest to play? Don't worry too much about whether or not they're easy to play. Sometimes you just have to pick a character that really resonates with you. Then you'll learn more about them and how to play them. Right. Huh? Who's this? Oh! That's the Elven Knight, Solteris! He was once the bodyguard of the Elven Queen of Frosthaven, but after she was killed at the hands of Dalen, he vowed he would find a way to bring her back and protect her once again! He's kind of like the sun to her cold, frigid heart. Ah, so romantic. I see. Ever at your service, my loyal queen. My heart and my blade are yours. What? Not gonna pick a prettier character, mon chéri? What about the elf lady with, uh... Uh, is she missing an arm? No, I like a tragic romance. Let's go for him. Alrighty then! Since everyone's picked a character, let's play! Question first. What's up? Which one is the... X button again. Oh, for the love of... I... Sheridan, I can't believe I have to deal with you. I'm just gonna stare at Baba Merman titties until you go away. Look, Dandy Rush had no fucking X button. What makes you think I should just magically understand what that would mean? Dude, Sheridan, just look at the controller like it's a book, okay? Like, the X... the X button is right there. Oh, no, not that one. That one pulls up the option so you can customize your character, like change their color or toggle on and off jiggle physics. Uh, not that I've ever used the jiggle physics. Callus, what are you doing? 